Well, hey there, folks, and welcome to the Bubble Roundtree Outdoors channel. Today, Rachel and myself are back down at the Rush Family Range, and we're going to be checking to see how some big old 70 cal ball, that's a big buckshot, see how uh, what kind of accuracy we can get with those things out of both smoothbore and rifled choke tube. Y'all stand by for a very interesting segment. Alrighty boys, we're moving on to some 70 cal ball hunting rounds. First three shots, we're gonna shoot out a smooth bore. I've got a, uh, we've got a new primed Shadite from Ballistic Products, 35 a blue dot, a TUWGS 12, TUWGS 12. It's the cup, cupped wide on both sides and 170 cal ball and we roll crimped them with a, a segmented overshot card here or shoot that through the smooth bore and we through the rifle choke we're going to be shooting 70 cal ball also these are new primed rio from ballistic products 32 of long shot x12x seal under that um that tuw Under that TUWGS-12 wad is in these as well. And we're going to shoot these through the uh, rifled choke tube. Alrighty, the first three shots. Got the 35 a blue dot with that 70 cal ball through the smoothbore. Which is a Carlson 703 constriction. These balls actually mic out to point six nine three is what these uh, mic out of coming out of Marty's 70 cal mold they mic out to 2.693 at least that's what mine do here I'm gonna be shooting at the bottom bull and we continue to be at 50 yards smack the hole on the holes 12.28 1273. Boy, I can hear them things smacking all the way back here. They are hitting hard. 1243. That's a big old buckshot now. Oh yeah. We can hit that with the spin doctor and roll those right back up again. Shooting round ball out of a smooth bore is like pitching a baseball. You can throw a fastball, you can throw a curve, you can throw a knuckleball. You don't ever know how it's going to come out of there. So I got three more similar rounds. Let's give them a little spin with the rifling and, uh, and see if we can tighten them up some. Stand by. All righty, boys. Let's see what happens. We give these big old 70 cal ball a little bit of a spin. Let's see, these, one, these ones have uh, 32 a long shot in them. All righty, here we go. Twelve eighty six. Twelve fifty two. Twelve forty eight. Real consistent. Real consistent. Huh. That powder burned my nose. Long shot. Oh yeah. These holes are in great shape. They can be fixed right up and rolled again. Oh yeah, fellas. I'm sure that one's just me. 
but uh, giving these projectiles just a little bit of a twist makes a humongous difference, especially if you're going to be planning on hunting with them out to 50 yards or so or beyond. All righty. I will see what else we got. All right, folks, for the last six shots, I'm going to just shoot all six of the last rounds. I'm going to shoot these three. 30, um, let's see, we got 32 grains of long shot, X12X seal, the TUWGS 12 wad, and a 70 cal ball. Beautiful roll crimp and a brand new prime that should eat three inch hull from Ballistic Products. The last three shots, once fired, Fiocchi went back with a Shadite primer. We got 35 grains of blue dot, the TUWGS 12 wad, and one 70 cal ball. That is all we have in this round with a conventional crimp for the final three shots that we will shoot at the bottom bowl. All right. Get these things in here configured right. I'm going to shoot the first three at the top bowl, or as best I can. And then we'll shoot the bottom three at the bottom bowl. The bottom three, the last three. All right, let's see how this works out. Here we go. Twelve thirty-four. Five sakes. It happens. 1289. Sounded like it jammed again. 1137. Don't know why the ends of these holes are hanging up. But they are. All right, here's the final three. 1178, 1211, and 1151. These things are light. They're just barely kicking them out. That's probably what the deal is. Those are loaded pretty light right there, boys. <coughs> that 70 cal ball weighs about 1.15 ounces. <coughs> That's all. All right, let's go look and see how we did. Wow. Well, fellas, just because uh, they'll be light in my auto loader, if uh, your pump guns like your 870s Mossbergs and all that, that would be dang killer right there. That would sure enough get the job done. It's very light recoil. That's probably why my auto loader would not run them is because they're just, it's a projectile just over an ounce in weight. And, uh, and we're not, we're not really pushing them very hard. So, uh, but results with a round ball at 50 yards, that is an inch, inch and a half group right here. That's going to be about a two and a half inch group right here. Size of a big animal's heart. That's six heart shots right there. That would have definitely got it done. Heck, that one right there, you can put it in his ear. And uh, that's a big buckshot, boys. Well, we all learned something. This is the first time, the first time ever that I'd ever fired the uh, that TUWGS-12, the double-sided uh, wide from Ballistic Products with these round ball. I've seen other folks doing them. I think Mr. John Kirk, I've seen him use them before. But I had never tried them before. You always start out on the bottom end when you're trying new stuff like this. And uh, I'm sure we could go up with the powder charge, but look at the accuracy out of the rifle choke tube. All righty. Hope y'all enjoyed it, fellas. We'll see y'all on the next one. Well, what do y'all think? It's about the identical same type of result we'd had with the, uh, with the, 
Lyman Slug video as opposed to smooth bore versus just a rifle to choke tube. The difference in accuracy, like was the difference in a couple of them keyholing and flying straight. The, uh, the difference in accuracy was astounding between the two. I really was not expecting it to be that big of a difference, but you know, that's why we do what we do. Appreciate you following us along and we'll see you guys on the next one from the bigger, better and stronger Bubba Roundtree Outdoors channel. Bye-bye.